Good morning, guys. It's back to reality for me. I am feeling better. Um, some people have asked me how do I uh, tie these scarves. Trust me, people. It is nothing fancy to it at all. My Dollar Tree fashion scarf. Just put it around my big head. And if you have a smaller head, it will... Um, probably look better okay I really don't do nothing fancy y'all gonna be like what yeah and then I just tuck it now because I'm on camera it's not gonna come out right oh what the hell y'all get the point Okay, so nothing fancy how I do my scarves. Okay, this is just basically for when I'm around the house or whatever, so my husband can't say he's tied of the bonnet or whatever. Um, just whatever. But good morning. I hope everybody is doing well. I seen a lot of you guys last night on the live with Jay. Um, he was exposing Muhammad. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this man's full name. But the man who has been, he's saying the organization or the foundation wasn't officially set up yet. Um, it was a proposed foundation. But I had seen on the news that somebody else did set up a foundation in Junior's name. And he's some kind of felon. So he's done this before. So I don't know. It's To date, I have heard about five fake foundations for Junior. Um... And I really don't know what the purpose of these foundations are. Why would you be collecting money? Are you going to take those funds and give them back to the community? Or is this foundation going to be a place where troubled teens or troubled youth can go, you know, for uh, alternatives to gang life? Like, what, what What are you collecting money for? I'm not trying to be funny. I don't know, guys. It's just a shame. It's just really, really a shame. And everybody... <clears throat> you know, we all recognize that this woman needs help. Personally, I don't think she has a lawyer. I, I, I don't think she has a lawyer. I think she was saying in front of that guy maybe to back him down. Maybe she feels like he's on her too much and too many people on her. So that's like a threat. I'm going to get my lawyer. I don't think she has. I just, if she does, he needs to be fired because I don't know what he's doing. I'm trying it the method you told me. Um, I put the foundation. This is concealer. And then I'll do powder. I'm trying. I don't know. Like I told you guys. Most of this crap I do, I've seen on other YouTube videos. Um, so I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I don't know um, if she has a lawyer. But she definitely needs somebody. And a lot of people I've seen in the comments were questioning the status of her and Junior. Um, I, a long time ago, way back heard that they were divorced okay and that he has since remarried it always goes blurry the camera it's annoying um that's what i had heard and i know at the funeral i could tell they weren't together because there was another woman like every step he took she was right behind him the only time she wasn't is when he was carrying that casket you know um, but it was nice the few times that we did see them together as a united front, like at the Yankee game. Um, he's been by her side other times. The court dates, he's been by her side. Um, I don't want to speak for this man. I know I'm speaking for myself as somebody who had um, teenage children and um, was divorced. Um, 
you know, I got divorced when my oldest was, I think, 18, going on 19, and my youngest was 17. Um, well, separated. The divorce wasn't final yet. Um, and please, for my men followers, I love y'all. Don't take this to heart. I'm not saying this is you, but it's just easy for a man to move on and start a new life and start a new family. I couldn't get no help from um from their father I could not get no help from their father after they left and it wasn't even about financial help because you wasn't financially helpful when we were married so I did not expect that but my boys went through a period of rebellion you know what I mean um and whenever you know I needed help with them <clears throat> talk to them or whatever he was on you know life goes on even now that we're not together we do have a grandson my chunka he's going to be three in september he's not that involved with him and his new um fiance or, or living girlfriend i don't know what they are um because i don't get in the business um she has children that are not quite teens yet <clears throat> And he's very involved with them. So, I, you know, it's just easy to me for a man to go on and start a new life. And I don't know if he has new children um, with his new wife. Um, but I still think somebody had mentioned he lives in Florida. Maybe he went back to Florida. I don't know. And I know he has to probably work and provide for his family. You know, I may come across as a little bit too judgmental. But, you know... A major event like this and Muhammad kept saying that he was coming out and that Junior's father did sign with him and listen they probably did sign some papers I mean Leandra did admit that she signed some papers but she did not understand and like I told you guys she, her language she's being taken advantage of and even when the reporters ask her a question You've heard her say, oh, I know I have heard her say, I don't know what to say. Or I think because she can't really express herself in English the way she would as if she was speaking her native language. That's why I said she needs the Spanish Al Sharpton. Where the hell are they? You know what I mean? Somebody to be in front of that camera and can speak for her. She don't have to speak all the time. She don't. And as someone else pointed out, it's the same repetitive questions, same shit over and over again. It's just like crazy to me. And all those news cameras there, I wouldn't have wanted to talk to them. You haven't been covering my son's story. You're just here for the ratings. And as much as Pix11 has been in the picture, it's just been for the ratings, y'all. I, I mean, we just have to face reality. Everybody is out for self. If there's nothing in it for them, forget about it. Everybody is just out for self. Those reporters want to be the first one with the story. That's it. As many people as die in the city, as many people uh, have been shot, murdered, stabbed, it's all about who can get the story first. I was very much annoyed. All I seen on um, my phone, you know like when you open your phone, like you have a news feed, all I seen over and over again was bullshit yesterday. It just pissed me off. Beyonce and her twins, her Vogue cover, then it was about um, bullshit. They wasn't even talking about what happened in Chicago, all those people killed over the weekend. It's a shame. What they should be talking about is what's happening to our youth. How are we going to have a future if our youth get, keep, keep getting cut down? So it's just really crazy to me, y'all. It really is crazy to me. And Genesis, I don't know what's going on with her. I really don't know what's going on with her. And the funny thing about it is, I first heard about the rally, I think, on her Instagram page. So, you advertise in events you don't even show up to. 
And the next event is that um, Stop the Violence school supply giveaway. And that will be interesting to see who shows up. But I don't know if that's something they do every year. But I bet you people will be there to get those free school supplies. I don't know. If I was Leandra, I would want to move out of the Bronx. I just would want to go. But I don't think she is going, y'all. She's been there 17 years. And that's where her son is. <clears throat> I'm assuming the funeral, um, the cemetery is not too far away. I just don't see her leaving. But at least she can go to Jersey somewhere. Or maybe White Plains. Just get out of that area. I wouldn't be able to do it. Because that bodega is going to open. And it most likely is a family member. Allegedly, what the news said, i seen on one news, um, that this guy has another bodega, or I think two other bodegas. So, now he wants this one. So this is an opportunity for him. You know what I mean? Somebody said to me on the low, they think that the family probably said okay to the 30%. Because, guys watch it again when they asked her how she felt about the bodega opening and she said the community if the community doesn't want it open then I don't want it open I don't know why she said that I would have said hell no I don't want it open but I don't know because she probably was alone you're not going against all those people you know she was alone shit we've seen it she was alone and that really messed me up, y'all. You know what I mean? Because why Why is she alone? Forget Lissandro's father. Okay, fine. He went back to Florida. Forget the, you know, the family wasn't close. But even her moms, her siblings that are in the U.S. If they're in the U.S. I don't know. Somebody gave me an address for a brother. When I was first asking to send something to her. All those people that be in her apartment recording her, opening these gifts. The people that were with her at the Yankee game, that woman. It was the mother, then it was another woman, Manny. I'm just saying, where are all the people now? And this is people close to her. I'm not talking about the community. I don't know what's going to happen now, y'all. I really don't know what's going to happen now. And regardless, somebody told me that they heard that uh, Genesis broke up with that boyfriend and she has a new boyfriend. But my thing is... I don't know, maybe he's so heartbroken, but he seemed like he had a relationship with Junior. He showed us text messages, his last text message... And Junior's response to him the night that he was killed. And he was asking Junior how long you're going to be when you're coming home. And Junior told him to go to sleep. So that's where we know that he made a pit stop. If the money truly was sincerely for... Um, if the money was truly sincerely for Jason, right? The $5. Let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. What was the pit stop? Like, why didn't you come right back? You see how close the proximity of everything was. The hospital. And the chase started from behind the hospital. I don't know where Adam's apartments are. Maybe I'm going to ask Jay. Since he's a Bronx native and he's from the area. Where are the Adam's apartments? I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I'm just doing something. Just so we can get a feel of if, if he did make a stop there. Which he might have. It's summertime. He's young. He might have, y'all. He might have. But I'm convinced that Michael Sosa is not here. He's not here. He's not in the U.S., y'all. And Dominican Republic does not have to turn him over. They don't. And I don't know if I believe that story 
that his mother turned him in. I don't even know how we heard about that story. Who knows? That probably could have been somebody close to him putting that out there that, oh, he was turned into the authorities. Has anybody heard any authorities from the Dominican Republic speak and said that we have him in custody? So I'm just not convinced that uh, he's here either. I'm not convinced. Not convinced that he's here. Because I remember the night before the indictment, I shared with you guys that I heard the lady from PIX11 say that he was here and he would be in court the next day. We didn't see him. We didn't see him. Could they have brought him back and keeping him for trial and he's going to testify? Possibly. But I also seen somebody on um, the live last night with Jay saying that her, I believe she said her husband is a corrections officer at Rikers. And those guys are being so protected and that if any correction officer put hands on them, they're going to be arrested and charged. You know how many inmates get beat up by corrections officers? Do you know anybody in jail that could tell you horror stories? What is so special about these guys? I don't know. And that's something that Jay pointed out, that they're getting protection. Stephanie's getting protection. He believes Jason Velez is getting protection. But what about Leandra? She was out there by herself having that freaking uh, vulture he looks so out of place, Muhammad. You don't even belong. You've been by mom by day one. I mean, what do y'all do? Y'all just wait for high-profile murders to happen and then leech on? It's crazy, y'all. It really is crazy. Knowing that woman really don't understand English. And I'm telling you, I bet you those contracts are in English. And like Jay said last night, you shouldn't even want to talk to her without a lawyer. You, she's signing legal documents. You should tell her. You should be advising her that she should get a lawyer. I'm telling you, I was so upset yesterday and the night before after seeing that. It's like she's crying out for help and nobody's helping her. They're plotting and thinking, how can they help themselves? They're coming to her as if they're going to help her. And she's at a major disadvantage, first of all. Very vulnerable and at a major disadvantage because she lost her son. So she's dealing with that. And then you, you just immediately just... You know, as soon as... He died in the public's response. They seen cha-ching. And she's not in the right frame of mind. She said, "I wait till I feel a little better. I mean, that couldn't be my sister and that couldn't be my mother. I'm sorry. And that's what is upsetting to me. That no one else is saying, back up, no. upsetting hold on guys no one else sees that something's not right here no one else is in the family is saying wait But I have no faith in the community, and I'm sorry. I don't want to disrespect anybody who lives in the Bronx. But I did see some people speak up. Some people said that they, we don't need another store. 
One lady said there's stores all over. We don't need the store. A lot of people said that it should be um, a community center. Some people, I'm not, you know, people did speak up for her. You know, so I believe some people won't shop there. Some people probably won't shop there. But I just believe that there are many that will. And maybe the people who won't shop there initially, eventually will. Because even when that Starbucks shit happened, my husband loves Starbucks, okay? When those uh, young black kids were arrested, I believe it was in Philly, in Starbucks, he wasn't going there. And neither was I. I think I skipped maybe one time or something like that. I'm being honest. And then, um, but he went longer. I was surprised because, like I said, he loves Starbucks. But eventually, he was back. You know what I mean? So, people go on. People go on. That's just, they're not, if they're not directly affected, they move on. Look, you know. And a lot of people have said she should move. And I agree. But I just don't see her doing that. I'm sorry. I don't see her moving. But that's got to be hard. gotta be hard to have to walk by and see that every day <sighs> but Manny had put on his IG for people not to donate to Muhammad he's a crook don't donate to him I'm trying to be good, y'all. He almost got me, though, with that video. Somebody sent me the um, English version of, um, I think, both cemetery videos. And he was crying. But this is my thing. You show up to the cemetery, right? Three o'clock in the morning. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that nobody who loses a loved one can't lose it. Okay? To be honest with you guys, I told you guys I work in mental health. And from his music video, and from uh, the Feeding the Homeless video, and some of his other videos where I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I really, and I shared this with somebody privately, I think he has something wrong with him. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to. I really feel that there's something not right there. Okay? Okay? I'm not a, a psychiatrist, so I don't want to give him a mental health diagnosis, but something is just not right there. Okay? Um, but, again... I just don't know. I think he was live from the cemetery. He went live on Instagram at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, everybody knows. I don't know who has a 24-hour cemetery. Let me know in your state if they have a 24-hour cemetery. But, again, you did it on live. And I don't. I really felt like, initially, I felt bad. But then I felt like you're crying because people are criticizing you for your actions for you not seeming like you know you're saying justice for junior but you're you're not it just doesn't doesn't you don't seem like genuine like it's real like it's real i mean he lost me after he didn't well he already had me i, I was i already was against him before but what i'm trying to say is on on the time where you you're saying now that muhammad's a scam don't donate him but 
why wasn't you there by your mother's side to say to say it there you understand what I'm saying I just his actions just don't seem genuine y'all y'all know how I feel I'm gonna leave the little boy alone but y'all know how I feel about it it just seems fake you know and when you going through shit and people are not by your side that let you know who's really in your corner and that would have showed me that's what that showed me the night of the uh, protests who was really in Leandra's corner that's what I seen that night that's what I seen that night y'all she really is alone and that's the sad part that she's alone that's the hurtful part that she's alone You know, and I, I to give the father the benefit of the doubt, you know, I said maybe he just needed a break because it's a lot for me talking about it every day. So maybe he just needed a break. I just feel that that wasn't the break. And I don't want to hear nothing else from Genesis. You know, you're advertising these events, you're promoting these events on your page. You want people to come and show out, and then when you don't, work is not a good excuse. I'm sorry, that's not a good excuse. It's not a good excuse. Definitely not a good excuse to me. I have tried to give her the benefit of the doubt because of her age. And, you know, chalk it up to maybe she's immature. But I all, oh, you know, I also think, I also know that there's a lot that we don't know. Always freaking one eye. There's a lot that we don't know, y'all. Like Jay said, like many others have said, she knows more. Genesis knows more. And maybe Lysandra knows that. And I wonder, is their relationship because of that reason I don't know I gotta find lashes y'all let me pause okay I'm back guys so we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens it's really just sad That I don't know if we'll ever know what happened to him. Why? We know what happened to him, but why? And about the uh, medical examiner report, I don't think they released an autopsy, guys. I think it was just the official cause of death. They didn't disclose the full autopsy, and I don't know if that's going to come out in court. These are those Dollar Tree lashes I told you about. I love them. I don't know if they're going to release that information to us. And will it be used in court? I don't know if they're going to go over the, his injuries in court. Because the wound that killed him was the fatal neck wound. So I wonder are the, since there's 12 defendants in court, right? 
I wonder are the lawyers going to use that to try to pin it on the one who cut him in the neck to try to plead down their 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 clients charges but I don't know if if cuz some are being charged with I believe first degree murder right all of them are being charged with second degree murder and then I think five of them are being charged with first degree murder and murder in addition to that so I wonder, are their defendants going to use that since the cause of death? The medical examiner said the cause of death was um, the neck wound. Are they going to try to get them to turn against the one that cut him in the neck? Just one thing about these lashes, if you buy them, okay? The edges are kind of, because um, they're plastic-y, plastic okay? All right? These are not premium lashes. I just have to snip off the ends because if not, it's very, it feels kind of sharp like something's, it's annoying if you don't. Um, and I got these small scissors um, and a manicure kit from Dollar Tree. So it came with a nail clipper or a metal file and those scissors. But I use the scissors for the lashes to cut off the ends. Because if you try to use bigger scissors, it's a disaster. Just painting on my glue. Yeah, so I wonder, are they going to use that medical examiner's report to um, try to get a deal for their clients to say, hey, well, my client, yes, he was involved in the attack, but he didn't kill him. He has no other injuries. You know, those, those blows didn't cause any major injuries, so how can you charge him with murder? But you know what? If you come at somebody with a machete, that's attempted murder. That's not like a butter knife. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think in my head, guys. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Because we don't know. All we've seen is the tape, so we don't know what other evidence. And if, if people are snitching, then that will come out. But having no cameras in the courtroom, is Leandra going to speak on it? Is she going to, is she allowed to speak on it? I don't know. It's crazy. It really is crazy. So I don't think that was the autopsy because there was a lot of comments I seen that um, spoke of the autopsy. It wasn't a full autopsy report. It was just the cause of death, which I don't know why they decided to share that um, with us if they weren't going to tell us the extent of his injuries. There's a lot of things they're not doing with this case that I've seen them do for others. Um, it's strange. Like we've all been saying, where are the 911 tapes? If they would have called 911 during the attack, like if someone would have initiated a 911 call during the, t the attack, that boy could have lived. I'm sorry. It's been speculation. Some people are saying he was out on that, um, at that booth across from the ER for 45 minutes. I don't know about that, but I just feel if, if 911 was called to me, that's proof 911 wasn't called, but I have heard from more than one person that they have heard a female 911 call tape. I have never heard it, so I don't know if it's out there. And to me, if it was out there, a legitimate 911 tape now, I think it would have been all over YouTube. You know what I mean? I really don't know. Don't wanna lose. <laughs> I really don't know, guys. But as far as the bodega under new ownership, um, I do believe what Jay said and someone else who is in real estate private messaged me saying that it did not change ownership. It's the same woman that owns it and what she's doing is she's leasing it out to new tenants. And this is just another tenant that's going to be taking over. But I believe it's illegal. You're not allowed to, you, you know, like uh, alcohol license, tobacco license, 
I don't think they're transferable. Like if I sell my car, my registration is non-transferable. Those people can't just, you know, they have to get their new registration. They have to get their new insurance. So we're going to see if anybody's going to get to the bottom of it. I, I don't think they're digging. I told you guys how I feel. I, I don't think they're digging. I, I don't think the police are digging. I don't think the investigation is ongoing. I've been told so many times. The investigation is still ongoing. You don't know. And again, the disclaimer for the Erica Fuller YouTube channel is, I wasn't there on June 20th. I don't know Manny, just Genesis. I don't know Leandra. I don't know the other brother, the boyfriend, the father, the grandmother. I don't know these people. I'm just like you who was touched by this case, and I'm looking for answers and information, and I'm making my own guesstimations, if you want to call it, from what I'm seeing. Um, I just don't feel that the police are looking. They're not, guys. We just have to accept that. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have the faith in the justice system. They have the faith in the police. They have the faith. They just have the faith. The only person you should have faith in is God. All these other people... This is just a paycheck. It's a job. It's another case. I know it's messed up, but you have to accept it. This is just another case. It's just another boy from the hood that got killed. I hate to say it. That's just how they feel. They do not care. The people who need to care don't care. If they care, tell me why they have allowed this to go on. How they have allowed this gang to operate for so many years and multiply. How they... I mean, you guys should see how all the other tragedies... Just just, just research all the other tragedies that you don't hear about anymore. These people do not care. If they had the desire to clean up the community. But one thing people are saying is that, and I don't want to pronounce this word wrong, but I know what it means because they did it in other areas of the city. And they have tried to do it to some areas on Long Island. Okay? Gentrification or whatever where they try to clean it up and then, then um, you know, try to force the people out, raise the rent, um, knock down buildings, whatever, relocate people, and then take over that real estate, okay? They did it to areas in Brooklyn. They're trying to do it on Wine Dance in Long Island. They've done it to some parts of Hempstead that are like on that borderline by Garden City. Guys, it's sad. And after all of this, what's going to happen to that poor lady? She's never going to be the same. She's not the same now. And Jay made a good point. They're going to try to say that now she's unstable and all this other stuff. She's crazy. Well, I, I would be crazy too. I really would be crazy too if that happened to my child. So, I don't know. We just got to keep her in our prayers and um, keep his name alive. Because we're the reason why his name is even still spoken about. No other case, no other case have you heard go on this long. Unless it was the O.J. Simpson trial um, when Michael Jackson died, that stayed out there. But he was a celebrity, so we understand that the King of Pop, whatever. Um, what other trial? The Trayvon Martin, the Casey Anthony, the Jody Arias, Arias, or what I'm not pronouncing her name wrong, but that crazy bitch who killed her boyfriend in the shower. Um... We heard about those cases because the media was interested. The news was interested. You know, it was ratings and stuff like that. But anybody else? You don't hear about them people. You don't hear about them. So I just don't think they care. When this happened and they... When they seen the public interest, it was just like cha-ching. And that's, that's just horrible. That somebody's life that was taken so prematurely, so violently, so viciously. It's just like the vultures, you know, when this happened, they just seen blood and it's just really, really sad. So we have to keep Leandra in our prayers and hopefully, um, if she doesn't have a lawyer, she'll get one now. And somebody who will be that, that pit bull, that, that, that voice for her. I don't know. Well, I'm about to get my day started. I thank you guys for watching and I hope everybody has a good day and I will see you later.